Yo team, what up? Welcome back to another video. Let me give you let me give you a little rundown on what's been happening. So we left Topor, we drove past all the Topor water. Beautiful sunny, no wind. We came over to find a bit of water that we've been trying to be looking at we've been trying to look at for like two years and um, there was someone already there and now we've just discovered that it's obviously been raining over here quite a lot because That's big, eh? Should we push it? Is it open? I think it's open. I don't know how possible, I don't know how open. Yeah, yeah, it looks shitty. Anyway, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this river is flooded. This isn't the river where we're going to fish, it's actually over there. Someone already there. Now we've decided that that's possibly flooded anyway. We are still heading downstream to a spot we have fished on this river just to make something out of the day, but that might not happen now because it might all be flooded. You guys have met Alex before. Hello. Here he is again. Hello friends. <laughs> so yeah, that is the plan at the moment. We've been driving all over the place, it's nearly 10 o'clock and we have, I'm not even in my waders, but uh, check really, this out. Really bad at this. This is a piece of the merch that you can actually get yourself that is in the little shelf if you like scroll down on whether you're on a phone or the desktop. Scroll down and you'll see this exact hoodie. Snag one. All right, so we have, uh, what have we done? This isn't really where we wanted to fish today, but it's where we're going to try. But the river does, it does look high and a little, a little off colour. But we're just using this as a staging ground. I've got to string up a rod, get in some waders. Oh, you're ready to go. You go check it out and tell me how it, how it looks. Oh yeah, I'll do that for you. Okay, cool. So, I don't know, I'm going to string up a rod and I, I dare say we're going to end up back on the Tonga Doodle. <laughs> we might start fishing cute. by lunchtime. Maybe. Nah. So in last week's video I got a load of grief about people were thinking I was dropping rubbish on the ground but I'm just going to show you what happens and how I do it so there's no misunderstanding there. This is my big old trash bag. Trim off the end of the, oh, normally I've got a GoPro like right here, when I trim off the end of this. Oh, look at that, it goes straight in there. I do always pick up all my rubbish, and it, quite often I leave the this pocket here on my bag is specifically for picking up rubbish. And so there's, that orange wrapper is mine, but pretty much all the rest of that is just rubbish that I've found on the river. Which I probably don't need in there anymore, but I don't to put it so there. I'm not sure if I was recording, but I just got this little brownie. Stella fish, actually. See you, buddy. Fish, another little brown. This is kind of on the swing, this thing. Right at the end of the drift. Nice brown, very nice little brown. It's going, it's pretty pissed about the whole situation. Boom. It's quite a nice fish. So this one ate that 101 that I was talking about. Really beautiful fish. Really stoked on that. See you later, buddy. So that fish ate that, which is the 101. Oh, I lost my point fly. Had a little purple jobby on there. So the first brown, which I didn't catch on camera, ate the little purple. Size 14 purple thing with a little bit of flash. And then that fish right there just ate the 101. Great fly, love it. Can we get across here? Sort of boulder up through there? Yeah, right there. Oh. Are we going this way? Oh, we're gonna have to go that way, right? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Downstream? Down in the corner. Onto that beach? Yeah. Still looks deep. Okay, we'll be okay just in front of that tree. Or, <laughs> or not. Or we're just. Cool. Okay, yeah. I can see oh, a rock we're there. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> no, getting back. <laughs> 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 Alright, so 
me and Alex have just picked our way across through all this stuff here. It's probably pretty hard to tell, uh, but it's bouldery and there's lots of deep shoots in between boulders. The bottom's pretty slippery, and that was actually a fairly dicey little crossing. The, la the last bit there we had to really, but I thought I would take this opportunity because crossing a river is sort of no joke. You can fuck it up and you can, well, apart from getting wet, you can also get yourself in a lot of trouble. Yes. So I'm just gonna show you how Alex and I, we cross rivers that you could never cross by yourself, but linking up the way we do, you actually increase what you can cross safely by a quite a large margin. So I'm gonna show you that now. Check. All right, so the heaviest person normally always goes on the upstream side, which is always me. I probably got like, this way. I got 20 or 30 kilos on this guy, so I tend to always be on the upstream side. He's a bit more of an anchor. This dude is uh, upstream, so the river's coming this way. Normally we've both got a backpack on, so you grab a hold of the actual shoulder strap and like, don't be afraid, get in nice and tight. What, what you want to tight happen bit. is if someone does slip, they've got something solid to hang on to. 100%. And then if it's a really, really tricky crossing, what you want to do is make sure that someone has a good footing before the other person moves. So you're kind of almost moving one at a time. So it's like one step, good. one step. Good. Yeah. And so on and so forth. And so, yeah, like you can cross huge amount, like we had to do that there. I wouldn't have tried to cross that by myself. Definitely, Definitely needed two people. And even with two people, it was like- Sketchy. It's not, it's not unsafe, but it is, I don't know. Game face time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take it seriously. <laughs> but anyway, enough about that. Let is- uh, Find a fish. I've caught two fish now, because we fished. I fished that side way over there by the grass. Alex fished this side. I caught two out of there. One of them wasn't on camera. And so there's normally some really cool sight fishing opportunities up here on the edge. So hopefully we can find Alex one out of there. Do you have many eggs? Fish? Yeah. Woo! Man, oh, nice fish. That took a long time to catch that fish. It's carping. It's like a dozen jumps. Of Let him do it again. Oh yeah, sweet. It's real tired now, I'm sure. Woo! Woo! That's, a That's like a, you'd almost go him five pound, definitely four. Yeah. Four and a half. I'll take it. Oh, uh, yeah, four and a half. Sweet. You're a really nice fish. What do you say, like four and a half or so? It is four and a half. Working fish. That was worth all the effort. Yeah. Mean, man. Let's get him back. Sweet. Good? Yeah. See you, buddy. Joyce! We fished this little spot a couple of times. It's no secret, this spot. There's a road right there. It's pretty obvious. But um, we've normally done fairly fairly well you can normally sight fish some stuff in here but water's pretty dirty but it took a long time a lot of work what what fly did that eat I think it was a copper walnut a what they a nymph like I always say it doesn't really matter what you tie on as long as you fish it well obviously Alex fished that fly well because he, he got the hook up we quit that river we're back over in the beautiful sunshine of the topo area this is Tongariro Alex just jumping in I'm gonna tie in an egg or something so we can't catch fish at this end of the country, beard is coming off because that is just too orange. Oh, boom! You got him. What a drift. you want me to go sort of down there? Fresh, fresh fish. Quite a good fish. Do you want to, you want to net it? It's close. Thanks. Fatty bombati. Decent, bro. Oh yeah. Four. Four. Yeah, cool here, four. Nice. That's a wicked fish. Real happy with it. It's cool. Pretty much perfect. Sure, bro. Sweet. Good fishing. Wow. Yeah, so. That was the egg. So I hooked a fish on an egg, and then as soon as he changed to an egg, he got 
got a fish, so egg is the thing. Always is. Yeah. Uh, it looks fairly fishy. I think it might be a rock fish. It looks fairly fishy. Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Have you got a light rig? Heavier than yours. Take your time and just. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to feed this. It's not that heavy. It's pretty good. Like yeah, but then I've got to take my indicator off. Right. I'm just going to. A terrible headwind here. Oh, there's another one. It's just backing off. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Sight fishing in the winter. So much fun. He's still fairly swimmy. Is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is more like that other river fish you caught this morning rather than a Tonga fish. Yeah, it's a wicked fish. I'd say this is like resident or something. Decent, man. Yeah, cool fish. Yeah, bro. All right, see you, buddy.